Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 19, probably, right? <clears throat> uh, of the Legal Day Challenge, hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's form. Uh, today, I ran or uh, rode a bike for a couple of miles, nothing, just to kind of loosen the body up. I am waking up in about eight hours or so to try to do 50 kilometers. Uh, give me some support, love in the comments if you're watching this. And uh, I'm going to bed right after this. Uh, maybe get a snack first, but essentially right after uh, right after this. So yeah, um, that's it basically. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a go as Mario would say. Uh, we have 2294 petition away such that maximum difference is K. You give an injury nums, K, petition nums, subsequence. Each element in nums appear in exactly one, so that means that um, that you know, each yeah they're all mutually exclusive. Minimum number of subsequence to, such that the difference between the max and the min values in each subsequence demo is k. Okay. okay, I mean I think um, I think the first thing to notice about these problems, right, is that it's whether you can sort them. Uh, sorting is a you know maybe maybe. I don't know if people think of it this way necessarily, but it is helpful to think of it as a pre-processing step, right? And it's not every time that, uh, uh, every time that, uh, it's not every case that you can sort, but if, if you're able to sort, it gives you your, your, your input, your data, your problem, a lot of structure that you can maybe exploit. Um, and in the, and I don't know if there's any general rule about it. I mean, uh, for me, honestly, um, Maybe I have to figure out how to articulate it better or, or uh, bring it up to the forefront a little bit so that I can explain it. But for me, honestly, it is just from experience and you can recognize it quickly anyway. Uh, maybe you, there are ways to figure it out, but for me, recognizing quickly is doing it this way. For me, the reason why um, sorting is, and, and I don't, honestly, at this point, I don't even know if it helps because um, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. I'm, I'm explaining a little bit, uh, so I'm not really thinking about a problem yet, and I'm thinking about how to explain it more than I'm thinking about a problem. But the reason why I think sorting is okay is because when you sort, you know, um, if you have some subsequence, I don't know, I'm just going to write like A, B, C, D, E, F, G or something like that, or uh, whatever, right? And if you kind of put them in different subsequences, another way to think about that is like, and it doesn't even matter what it is, right? You could kind of think of it as putting it this way of like, you know, uh, whatever, they're mutually exclusive. I, I don't know, someone like this, right? Um, and of course in this way, if you kind of do it this way, then sorting it doesn't change the answer depending on how, what you do with the result, right? Because then now, I mean, sorting is one way to give it structure, but also the order doesn't matter, right? Uh, it's it's why sorting is helpful because if order doesn't matter, then you can sort to give you maybe a way to exploit this. And for me, uh, and sorting of course is n log n is essentially free. Is basic. Uh, it's you know it's one of the fastest operations that you can do. Uh, I mean it's not linear. I know, but but you know uh, uh, the constants are very low, especially if you use the library and etc. Right. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> And, and the idea behind this problem is that now, okay, what happens when you sort? Well, now you have a group of numbers. Let's say you go from smallest to the largest. I mean, it's not always the case that you want to go smallest from the largest. Sometimes you want to go the other way around. But in some problems for this one, for example, there's no loss of generality, right? You go either way. So for me, I, I tend to go small to large because maybe it's just, I don't know, habit or something, right? And n now you go from smallest to largest. What happens? Well, what, what do you do with the smallest number? Um, in, a, in a way, you can make a decision, right? You could, it's not dynamic programming, and if you watch enough of my dynamic program uh, videos, I'll talk about like take, no take, or whatever, right? Um, and yeah, and given the smallest number, you could say you could put it in the current subsequent, uh, a new subsequent, well, I guess if you, if you give it a, uh, um, a smallest number, and you have no subsequent so far, or no partitions, no chunks, or whatever you want to call them so far, then you are going to put in one chunk, right? So let's say you have a lot of numbers. You have A0, A1, A2, A3, and they're sorted. And then now you have A0, then you put in one group because you have to. It doesn't matter which group. And then now you have A1. Well, where can you... And of course, assuming that... Um, assuming that this is less than or equal to K, where can you put A1? Well, there are two ways to put A1, right? Uh, 
One is, of course, just behind A0, or you could start its own thing. But then this is where you can kind of do this exchange type argument, right? Of uh, Okay, now you have A2. Um, well, now that you have A2, then there are only two scenarios. There's this scenario, um, and let's just say for, you know, uh, uh, um, A2 minus A0 is less than or equal to K, which is to say, you know, this satisfies this condition so that you can do this, of course. And there are only two ways to do this. It's either, well, maybe three ways, I suppose. Uh, but with respect to, um, with respect to, uh, I guess there are actually four ways if you want to think of it. But but I think some of them just doesn't really make sense. Like, I don't know, right? Uh, well, I guess only three ways. No, I guess four way is something like this, right? Uh, maybe there's more, I don't know, right? So you, you maybe put them in these four ways and then honestly, it just becomes like uh, uh, an exhaustive comparison of like, well, which one is the most optimal, assuming that this is the case. Well, if you look at this, then obviously this is optimal because you only have one subsequence. That's one, of course, but that's, that's not sufficient. That's just like a thing, right? Because it may lead to, you, you can make an argument that maybe leads to worse results later. But, well, you look at the other results, well, you ask yourself, if you have A3, what can you do? Well, this is strictly, if A3 is less, uh, is less than or equal to K, then A, then this is strictly better than all of these, right? Because all of these has two subsequence and this has one subsequence, right? So that's kind of the general idea that I'm going for, and I think that's enough for us to solve. Um, and of course, I wouldn't say this is a hard, hard proof, but I just want to give you like a, an inkling of how you kind of prove, quote unquote, greedy. Because greedy is tough, if you ask me. And we've been talking about it all week. Uh, greedy is definitely one of my weakest points. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so maybe I will have start is equal to negative infinity. Um, now we're implementing, right? So for x in nums, and we already sorted, remember? Uh, we have a count is equal to zero. So then now, if x minus start is greater than k, then we have to start a new subsequence, right? Uh, start another subsequence, and then that's it. Yeah, and then that's actually it, unless I'm off by one. But that, the idea here is that, I mean, we drew it out, and maybe I shouldn't have erased it, is that, well, now if you keep, kind of keep on going with that logic, then just kind of keep on adding numbers to the subsequence that you can until, well, they no longer fit. And that's basically the idea. Uh, hopefully I don't have silly mistake, but yeah. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I mean, obviously this is going to be dominated by the sorting, so n log n, but otherwise this is all of uh, all of n linear time and all of one extra space on top of not not including sorting. So that's why this is going to be pretty fast, or apparently not that not fast enough. Can I do better? Hmm. I don't know. don't think so. I mean, everything else is going to be log n. And, I mean, unless you do some crazy bucket sort or something. And I, I didn't look at the constraints because... Uh, and I, Yeah. I didn't look at the constraints because sorting and then linear is going to be fast enough for almost everything in the sense that if it's too slow, then the code messed up because... The, practically, there's no way to do, uh, do, to differentiate between an n log n sorting and, and even linear time with some constant because it's just so fast. Um, but maybe you shouldn't worry about that. But yeah, that's why I didn't even think about it. And none of this depends on k or num sub i, just n, and this is linear, right? So that's why I didn't really think about it. Um, or like I thought about the complexity, it's just that I didn't think about the constraints because it is going to be fast enough. That said, maybe there, there could have been some craziness. I don't know. But yeah, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Uh, just one more shout out. Uh, happy Juneteenth is, you know, uh, hope you, you know, recognize all the all the things that went into it, if you're from the US anyway. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to run that 50K. Hopefully we'll see it. Wish me good luck. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, speaking of 50K. Wow. I, I actually did not intend this, but well, I went for, well, uh, 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 we're, we're reaching almost 50k subs, so thank you every one of you for watching and telling your friends or telling your enemies if you hate them and you hate the, the YouTubes. Uh, thanks anyway, and yeah, that's it. That's all I have. Very grateful. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.